Um, hey, do you all want to approach the wizard? And... Yeah, please. Uh, let me humble myself. Real quick. Yeah, humble okay. yourself. I'm actually going to make myself big so I can scare him. Oh, oh okay. Travis, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it's that. Too late. I'm doing it. Oh damn it, Travis! Okay, I'm going to roll. He turned you into 20. a sweet potato. I love um, sweet potatoes. Well, this one was sent in by fucking Graham Roebuck. Thank you, Graham Roebuck. Just a platform agnostic treasure hunter. Yeah. It's like uh, if a Formula One racer comes and races at NASCAR. Like the hit exactly. film Talladega Nights. Exactly like that. So um, what we're looking at here is a, uh, this one's not peer reviewed. Oh. I know that's important to some people. Risque. But it, it is uh, called How to Live in a Haunted House. You just moved in, and now you have really bad feelings about the place. Chances are the place could be haunted. I mean, it could be Anything. termites. Yeah, and, but anything wood. could be haunted. Yeah. You may be frightened, but don't be. Reading this article can help you cope with the ghost presence. Writing an awfully big check here at yeah. the top of the thing. So, very first thing, guys. Very first thing. That is, if you don't do this thing, don't even think about living in a haunted house. Okay. You got to take a well-built guard dog like German Shepherd with you into the house. What the fuck is that going to do? The reason dogs easily detect the presence of spirits. It will be daring to you also with the dog. Awesome. Yeah, but that's so gonna, dogs. That's gonna work once. Maybe you think? the dog barks and the ghost goes whoa, and then goes oh wait, I'm a fucking ghost. I'm a ghost. What are yeah, you gonna do? The, why does the size of why does it have to be a well built guard dog like German Shepherd? When all it needs to do is sit, it's not gonna eat the ghost. It's not gonna get into a scuffle. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. Yeah. Remind yourself before you move anything into the house, walk through the entire place. Doing this will give the ghost, and then in parentheses S, in case there's multiple ghosts, a chance to scope you out and accept your presence in their home. So just before you move anything into the house, you gotta do a quick walkthrough so the ghosts get acclimated to your presence, but do have an enormous fucking gnarly dog in there with you that the ghost will feel afraid of. Um, and then they'll know what it's like to be to feel that fear. Well, that's assuming that the dog is acclimated to ghosts too, right? Ghosts aren't scared of any of this. Yeah. Nothing could scare a ghost. Yeah, I don't know why the first move is intimidate the ghost when it should be like, listen, you're going to need to get that ghost on your side. Toot sweet. Yeah. yeah. Well, Beg the ghost's forgiveness. Beg your pardon, ghost. Yeah, so offer sorry. to get like a good cable package or something for the ghost. Do stuff for the ghost that the ghost can't do for themselves. I'll open That's the great. blinds so you can see outside or something. Right. I will open these this box of Cheez Its for you so right. you can have the Cheez Its within. I know you have trouble with the box. I'll put in some scented candle. Can you smell? Cause is that a thing ghosts can still do? I don't know. We're still getting to Ask know each other. Ask the dog. The dog knows. Remember, before moving all your stuff into the place, move as few items as possible. This will avoid riling the ghosts to the changes going on in the transition from former occupants. Why not just fuck? ask? Hey, can I put the couch here? Where'd that couch come from? I feel I hate like this. if I could put the couch here, it's going to get less glare on the television that I bought for us. For us, ghosts. So this is a this is a boiling the frog sort of like strategy for moving into a ghost house is if you go slow enough, the ghost won't even notice that you're a different person. Ghosts are also very inconsiderate. Yeah. Keep, keep in mind while moving furniture or other objects in, be alert for any feelings you may have about where an item should be placed. Mm. If you can That's make a true. ghost happy by, no if you can make what. a ghost happy by placing a chair in a particular place, it could save you lots of trouble later on. Yeah, put it in the middle of the kitchen. This is a sofa. Middle of the kitchen. Boo! It makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy. A refrigerator, backyard. What? What? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> oh man, is the dog? Is the ghost pissed off? Yep. <laughs> Where does it want it? <laughs> Put the oven in your bedroom. I, I, I agree with him. What? I agree. The what? ghost wants it. Boo. Why did you say boo? You're the dog. <laughs> Are you guys on the same side now? <laughs> oh no, I've been infected. You can't get infected. Mm. No, I got it. I got ghost disease. <laughs> Oh, man. Man, try to relate to the ghost by talking about what life might have been like in the house if it is an old house and try to do something former residents would have done in the house while they lived there, like eating some meals in a formal dining room or listening to period music from the town the time the house was built. Awesome. There's no way the ghost wants that. When was this house built? Uh, looks like 1993. This is how we do it. <laughs> yeah, this is my jam. Boo! This um, is how we do it. 
try to talk about some big events that would have happened while past owners would have been living there. For example, on October 29th of a year, try to talk about how past residents would have felt about the <laughs> stock market crash in the beginning of the Great Depression no. if the house was old enough. No, You're bumming me out. <laughs> Please. Tell me what's going on with the Kardashians. It's so close to Halloween. That's like my jam. But the Great Depression. Yeah, it sucks, <laughs> though. Stop it. it. Suck. I don't want to think of it. Do you want to think about when your fish died? It sucks. Come on, man. Move on. <laughs> Avoid- I should move on, too. Oh, no. Avoid the area the ghost is in if, sh- if they are in a particular place. Try using the room as a storage area and leave the ghost alone. So do you want me to fucking have dinner with it and play fucking <laughs> this is how we do it and talk about the Great Depression? Or do you want me to, like chill on it and leave them to wither and rot. You could also just like not walk through it. It's not like, that's a lot of these are just good rules for having a roommate. Don't sit on your roommate. Ask your roommate where to put the furniture. Talk to your roommate about what they like. Try to spend a night in the place. Some ghosts try to communicate with the living through dreams, allowing the ghost to get its message to the living may put an end to the haunting and send the ghost on its way. (laughs) Well, I'm going to sleep in my house. Yeah. So this one's gonna get done no matter what. Are you sure I should try the other shit before this one? Thank you for sleeping here. My message is there's a carbon monoxide leak. Accept the ghost. This may be difficult for some to do. Most ghosts will leave you alone if you acknowledge their presence. Hey, ghost. Accept the ghost. Leave them alone. Have dinner with them. Dream about them, but don't talk to them. I love you. Don't you do this to me, man. I love you. Don't say it if you don't mean it. You heard me. Yeah. Fucking love you. Um, Talk to the ghost. Let it know it's welcome to stay if it leaves you and your family alone. But remember, if the ghost does something scary, let it know you are upset and that if that if such behavior continues, it will not be tolerated. Okay. <laughs> Some ghost- yeah, okay, fucking tough guy. <laughs> back that up. Hey, yeah. back that up. Shithead. This has shifted from what to do if you have a roommate to what to do if you move into a house and there's a big scary dog there. Yeah. Hey, you just stay um, over there and I'll stay over here. No, don't growl at my kid or else what? We'll move. I'll <laughs> kick your ass? Uh, probably not that, though. I shouldn't Some ghosts can be persistently aggressive. Some ghosts can be persistently aggressive and this behavior may prevent you from sleeping or enjoying your home life the way you deserve to. If this happens, never respond in anger. This will only add fuel to the fire. Focus on feeling love for these entities that probably haven't felt love in a very long time, if ever. Directing positive energy toward them can be surprisingly effective in stopping unwanted behavior. Okay, so that's the tip. I need to get some sleep. Do you want to make out? Yes, please. Yes, please. Um, I don't know why my ghost kind of sounds like Bane a little bit. It does a lot. Yeah. Let's take a quick break and then we'll be right back after this brief trip to the money zone. 